thought we were going to do some vegetables because your garden is full of vegetables so you should paint them before you eat them and it's going to be acrylic and I've got the acrylic in a little chocolate box which if I have to walk away and have a cup of tea I will put a lid on to keep it moist because if you don't keep it moist your paint will become like this it will be hard and you can't use it okay so I've got a few celery a, few, a celery here I've got pepper, onion, and a courgette. So maybe what we'll do is start painting and uh, I'm going to get this uh, pepper. Um, so you know what you're going to do, isn't it? Just, just put color on it and paint it. This is acrylic and you can dip your brush in water to moisten your brush first before you paint. And when you finish painting acrylic, you have to wash it quickly because it spoils your brush. It, if it dries on your brush, you've lost your brush. Okay, so think about your paint. In watercolor, it's easier because you, the watercolor doesn't spoil your brush. You can actually keep that going. So, right. So here is a pepper and I'm just going to mix a bit of colour and put them in here. Right, so there's your pepper and I've got a few lines to go down, a few lines to go down and here we have it. Wash your brush if you want to change your colour. And now you can actually go back to my celery. It's really nice. So I've got a celery started. your celery is white and green so you can put a bit of white in if you want a little bit of white just to give it a little bit of sparkle where actually the light is hitting it right and now Let's do a bit of tomatoes. Are you growing tomatoes in your garden? So, and we have a few leaves coming through. There's a bit of leaves coming up on the top. And we want to finish off with a little bit of an edge. Now, let's get a tomato going. Tomato is down here. So if I were to just do a tomato just down here. The bottom of the tomato is always darker than the top, as you can see. So once you got that, just keep your colors going and keep coming up to a lighter, 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 much lighter pink. Now you have the top which is caving in. And now you need a little bit of a green to draw in the stalk. So you have a lovely little sort of star just here. And this the stalk coming up here to join up to the actual branch going through. I know I've got red, but it's okay. 
because you need a dark color. So now that I've finished painting the vegetables, uh, I'm afraid my palette has become very muddled. So what I'm going to do now is to put some fresh color into a new palette so that I could have some nice highlight. So when you finish your painting, you must put some highlight, catching the light, and then some shadows underneath so that they will stand out and appear to be real. So here we go. Um, a little bit of highlight will go on to, so I've mixed a little white with a little yellow to give this pepper a little highlight. And, and as I go through, I shall put some on here and a bit further down so, so that it stands out. And when you've done the highlight, you can now mix a little bit of yellow with a bit of red so that your, um, your tomato can have a bit of highlight. Now, if you were to put white and red, it becomes pink. So therefore, it will not be a red tomato. So the only way to get your red is to mix a bit of yellow with your paint, with your red to get a sort of orangey color. So now you want to put some highlight just, just here, where the light's striking it, and put some on there. And just catch the light to see exactly where it's coming from. So having done your tomatoes, you can now go on to do a little bit of the celery so I should wash my brush because you don't want to mix too many colors in your brush and I will put a tiny bit of white to bring the white up again so here is your white celery And having done that, we now want to put some shadow at the bottom. So what you might do is to take a bit of blue. So you want to mix a little bit of ultramarine blue, which is going to make the red much darker. And so with that, you can actually put some shadows at the bottom of the tomatoes. Now, you'd have to be very careful not to paint it on the tomato because what you want is to make the tomato stand out. So put your shadow on. Right. And you need to put some really near here. it for today. We've had the painting of uh, a few veg vegetables so hopefully we will keep growing more vegetables and painting. So I shall send you a few more photographs of uh, fruit and vegetables and see whether you can paint some of these. Okay keep painting. See you soon. Bye now.